Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, as always, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. A blessings and safety to the elect. All right. And, um, you know, this is an article that I came across, okay, from the regional meetings, all right? And it says, you know, a half a dozen of banks will fail in the coming weeks. All right. Now, remember, about a year back, all right, you had these, uh, you know, multiple smaller banks that were, you know, pretty much, you know, um, you know, so-called, you know, uh, felon, okay, and, you know, pretty much, okay, they, they, they bounced back, okay, and that was due to uh, uh, them uh, being purchased by an even bigger bank, okay, you have a term called big bank take little bank. Okay, yeah, Jake say that shit in the hood, man. You know, whoever got the most money in uh, his pocket, pretty much uh, 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 the person with the, the smallest amount of money, okay, he pretty much has to, you know, give it over to the person with the largest amount of money, all right? But in the actual world, you know, that's a real term, okay? And big bank take little bank, okay, is a, a, a smaller bank being uh, bought and purchased, by an even bigger bank, okay? Now, we do know the biggest bank in the world is the Federal Reserve. We know their agenda, okay? They want to put that tiny, that tiny, okay? That tiny little, 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 little device. They want to put it underneath your flesh, man, okay? Now, they want all these banks to go digital, okay? Now, if I have 80 banks, all right, and I'm the Federal Reserve, Okay, and I want to uh, get everyone on all 80 banks on board, but it's a chance that, you know, out of those 80 banks, okay, only half will get on board. We all know that the major banks in America, which Chase is the largest bank in America, okay, then I believe you have Bank, in, uh, bank of America, uh, then I believe you have Wells Fargo, and then the other one is Citibank, okay, we all know they're on board, man, the, the, larger, the larger banks, okay, but then you have banks like you know, a Huntington or, you know, all these little smaller banks, okay, that may not get on board. So we'll call those, cause those banks to collapse pretty much. Or we'll pull certain uh, bonds from those banks, you know, create some type of, you know, bank run and cause those banks to collapse, okay? Now, and that will put a bank in a situation, okay? We'll, or pretty much the larger banks will buy those banks up, all right? So now, you know, 80 banks, but they're owned by, you know, five banks, five large banks. Okay, well, guess what? Now all 80 banks are going to get on board now. Okay, but let's just read a little bit of this article. It says, this is the world the regulators live in. Okay, Muso said. Matter of fact, let's look up this uh, Don Muso guy, man. All right. Says, hey, I'm gonna read this back. A half a dozen of smaller banks will fail in the next three weeks. And why do you think it's the smaller banks? Because they're gonna be bought up by the bigger banks, okay? It says, predicted Don Musso. I wanna see who this guy Don Musso is. You know, a lot of these Edomites be talking out their ass, man. Let's just see who this guy is. It says, Don is a recognized expert, okay? He's an expert in value creation for banks, strat, strat, strategy planning, okay? So uh, this devil, he comes up with banks' strategies, okay? Loan and deposit growth, uh, internal risk assessments, asset liability, liability management. <clears throat> he graduated from a uh, school of uh, banking at Colorado. All right, so this uh, this Edomite, he's uh <clears throat> he's tied in, man. Okay. So let's just read a little more of this article. Okay, it says, uh, this is the world of, 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 it says, this is the world the regulators live in. Um, you so said April 30th during the Bank Holding Company Association Spring Seminar. 
understand the brain drain that happened in D.C. Everybody who looked like us, a little bit older, a little bit grayer, they're gone. It's a bunch of young 30 to 40-year-olds who have not lived through a downturn before, okay? Which, hey, this is true, man. You know, uh, you know, <clears throat> America, hey, man, they, they they have, you know, experienced a few, uh, what would they call it, Great de de Great Depressions or, or um, when the economy collapsed, okay? And, um, you know, they pretty much, you know, got through it. Which we know that's all, you know, we it's all staged, man. It's all bullshit, man. All right, it's all done by the 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 the, the one percent, man. But it says a bunch of young thirty and forty year olds who have not lived through a downturn before, they're going to go through this for the first time, and they are not going to know how to handle it. They don't have the seasoning of some of those old seasoned examiners have. Let me see. You know, I don't really don't. It says, Musso said, there are 52 troubled banks in the United States and 66 billion in troubled assets of those up to eight are being resolved. Musso said, the troubled banks are identified by an internal FinPro platform relying on public data to run reports on any bank in the United States. He claimed the platform identifies problems faced by a bank along with how regulators will respond to the issue. Using artificial intelligence, FinPro then weights each problem on a, on a 0 to 100 scale with 100 sin, signifying a death nail. Musso said he experts to introduce a community Bank share risk pool in the next two months, allowing banks to pull their money to buy the uninsured deposits of any failed bank. You right? And that's pretty much what they're... Listen, man. This is all by design, man. And, you know, to be honest, man, to be honest with you, I just want to go straight into some precepts. Because, hey, the, 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 hey this is going to, you know, eventually cause a, a bank run, man. And, matter of fact, let's go into this word, bank run. Okay, because, you know, you know, the banks pretty much, you know, say they use your money to lend out, man, to pretty much, you know, um, make interest off of your money, pretty much, man. Okay, and this is why when you go into a bank, you know, you ask them to take out a certain amount of money, they looking at you on why. You know, here it is. You might have two hundred grand in the bank, okay? And you will go into the bank, and you'll you'll tell them, uh, well, you know, I would like to take out, I would like to take out, you know, uh, ten grand. You know, they're gonna look at you, you know, sideways. Like, well, what do you need to take out ten thousand dollars for? Well, it's my money. What other reason do you need? You know, that's because once that money is in their bank, it actually belongs to them, okay? And this is why it's very important. To, to uh, you know, read the, you got to read what you sign, man. You know, you'll be on, the, you'll be setting up some bank account, man, or talking to some Edomite, man, and he'll, he'll be going uh, through the papers with you. Oh, this paper means, you know, your bank, your money is protected in the bank at all costs. You're gain 3% of uh, every year on the money that's within your bank. So you just sign. This paper right here means your money is 100% effective safe. And you just sign. This paper right here means, no, man, you have to read for yourself. You know, you have to take time. When you open open it up a account and things like that, man, you want to take the paperwork home, look over it, read it, then sign it. Well, we, we know how life goes. It, it doesn't work like that, you know, but let me see real quick. Let's look up this word, bank run, because this is what Esau wants, man, a damn bank run. That's why he, he, he tries to make it so difficult for you to... You know, take out a large uh, amount of money. He wants you to use the for damn ATM machines, man. He don't want you to go into the banks, man. He wants you to use his, use the ATM machines, all right? With well, where he uh, uh, controls the limit amount of money you can take out, man. Okay. But yeah, let's go into bank run. Bank run. It says a bank run. Or run on the bank occurs when many clients withdraw their money from a bank because 
they believe the bank will fail in the future. Now, this also can cause a bank, you know, uh, ha having to be, you know, a smaller bank having to be purchased by an even, an even larger bank as well, man. You know? So, you know, this is going to happen, man. You know, these Americans will run down to these banks and they're going to withdraw their money, which is going to also cause the bank to collapse as well, man. All right? But, hey, man, let's just get into some scriptures, man, because we know that we're living in a time of the MOTB, and Esau is, uh, he's pussyfooting, man. He's moving cautious. Okay, he's moving in increments. Okay, and he's pretty much preparing for that tiny technology, man. All right? And the scriptures say, uh, uh, never trust thy enemy, man. Okay? Yes, you know, this devil, he's, 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 the, he's our enemy, you know? He's, our, he's the nation of Israel's enemy, okay? But, hey, he's the enemy of the rest of these nations as well, man. And all, even himself, man. Hey, the scriptures say he that is evil to himself. So whom will he be good, man? So, hey, man, you know, these Edomites don't trust his ass. Hey, these, these, these Edomites don't trust these uh, elites, man. They know they know where this thing is heading, man. Sirach 12 and 10, it says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. Now, if you go into that word, never, man. Okay, it says, never trust thy enemy. It says, at no time in the past or the future, or on no occasion, not ever. Okay? So you can't trust this devil, man. Okay? He doesn't care if you have a million dollars in the bank, man. He'll suck you dry, man. He'll come up with some reason on why, uh, um, you know, or how he could pretty much withhold uh, a mass majority of your money. Okay? And I do believe that those people that had that, had that, that, that bank out in California, I believe it was called Sun Valley Bank. But I do believe that a mass majority of those people, you know, if you had a hundred million dollars in the bank, I believe you you was only you you was uh, only given uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It was something that I can't really exactly remember what what it was, but I remember that if you had fucking twenty million in the bank, you know, you know, it, it was like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars insured. You know, pretty much that's what you got back. You know, you, you they give you they would give you a quarter million or some shit, man. All right, which is bullshit, man. But like I said, this hey, matter of fact, let's go to Sirach. Let's go to Sirach, uh, the thirteenth chapter. Hey, Sirach thirteen and four says, "If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee." All right, and that's pretty much what the bank do. This is what you know Esau he created the system to do. Okay, you put your money in his bank. Okay, and guess what? He'll he'll use your money to pretty much loan out to other people, okay? And when they pay him back, they pay him back in interest. So he's pretty much using you. He's pretty much using your money. You're, you're going out to work in the world, okay? And you're, and you're trusting him to, you know, keep your money safe. And he'll pretty much, you know, take your money and lend it out to someone else and then charges, charges them interest, okay? And this is why, hey, will you, hey, that money isn't there, man, in the bank. You know? That money isn't there, okay? You got $100,000 in the bank. Hey, maybe $10,000 may be in. Maybe $1,000. $1,000 may be in there, man. Okay? And this is why, you know, when you want to take out a certain amount of money, you have to fill out forms. You have to, you know, order it pretty much. You have to order your own money. Okay? But he'll allow you to go to the ATM because they have a, a, a maximum amount that you can take out a day. Okay? But it says... If thou be for his profit, he will use thee, okay? But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. So this devil doesn't care, man, if you go to zero, man. He doesn't give a damn. He's greedy, okay? If thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yeah, he will make thee bare and will not be sorry for it, man. A lot of you people are going to lose your money in these banks, man. Okay, and that's going to create another problem, man. But, you know, this devil doesn't care, man. Okay, hey, let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, okay? <clears throat> it says, uh, let Satan shall get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. Okay, and that Satan is speaking about Esau, uh, the, uh, Satan's uh, physical counterpart in Esau. 
okay? Hey, when we're not in the darkness, man, of his evil purposes, man, we know uh, what this devil is trying to do, okay? He's trying to bring forth the MOTB, which is going to happen, man. It's prophecy, okay? He's going to, and he, he, he wants the ultimate control, man. Okay, he wants to get rid of cash. You know, cash is not, you know, beneficial to him, man. Okay, and this is why, hey, you know, like I was uh, mentioning yesterday, man, when this devil came with the, you know, direct deposits and, you know, the debit cards and things like that, you know, pretty much, hey, because all jobs, you know, they force you to get some type of debit and credit, all right? You may be able to get a paper check, you know, your first check or two, you know, but after that, you have to be on some type of, you know, uh, credit and debit, some on some type of deposit, man. Okay, and if you don't have a card, if you don't have an account, then they'll they'll give you some uh, 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 debit card company they with, man, and they'll put your check on that because Esau wants to keep track of what's being spent, and not only what's being spent, where it's being spent at, and and where you're at, pretty much. You know, if I if I committed a crime in Ohio. And, you know, I went to damn Kentucky, man, and hid out, man. And then I went into a store and used my damn debit card. Well, Esau, no, I'm in Kentucky. Either I'm in Kentucky or I've been in Kentucky. Okay? This nigga didn't give you direct deposit so it could be uh, uh <laughs> so it could be beneficial to you. Okay? He didn't he didn't give you the debit and credit and he didn't give you, like I said, direct deposit, man, so it could be convenient for you. No, he he wants to pretty much have full control, man. Okay? He so he's he's ushering this shit in, man. And it's coming fast. Okay? And we know that, you know, this prophecy of uh the MOTB and World War Three are uh, are the final prophecies, man. Okay? So this is how we know that we're we're living in uh some great times, man. Okay? Hey, look, like, matter of fact, let's go to Revelations, man. You know? Revelations 13, and um, I'm going to just get straight to the point, man. It says, and he calls of all both, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay? And this is going into that, 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 that incision, man, okay? It's going into that incision, man, okay? Whether you're rich, you poor, you, you're locked up, you're free, okay? You're gonna uh, be faced with the hour of temptation, man. All right. Strong G fifty four eighty, Haragma, Haragma. All right. It says a stamped or imprinted M A R C, M A R K, of the M A R K stamped on the forehead or uh, or or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Okay, so pretty much, man. Do you know this is going into that 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 tiny technology, man? Put up under your flesh, man. And you're and pretty much, this is going to be the new form of payment, man. Okay, and you got niggas out here teaching that, you know, the MOTB is uh, watching television, or the MOTB is uh, Christianity, or the MOTB the damn white woman, man. Okay. Niggas is niggas is is, is 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 out of it, man. Okay, verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell or save, man. How the hell can you buy, save or uh, or or uh, or sell, man, with the damn white woman, man? Okay, how the hell can you buy or sell or save with Christianity, man? Niggas are you got to think about this, man. It says that no man might buy or sell or save he that had the M-A-R-K or the name of the beast or the number of his name, man. All right. So, <laughs> hey, this is the time we're living in, man. We're living in the end, man. And this devil, man, he's, hey, the scriptures say he's about to come down having great wrath, man, because he knows that he had but a short time. Okay. So, hey, man, <laughs> hey, we're getting in a closer and closer and closer, man, to the end of this man's, uh, the end of this man's uh, kingdom, man. All right, and uh, let's go. Let me see real quick. Let's go to Sirach 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, man. 
All right. So hey, man, this kingdom is 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 is, is getting you know trans uh <coughs> Shalakia. This uh kingdom is being uh, translated, man, from one people to another, man, from the nation of Israel, from a Shalakia, from Esau to the nation of Israel, man. All right, as the Lord said, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set one over it that is profitable. Okay, these devils have been unprofitable to the world, man. All right, so hey, with that, I want to say Shalom.